went in for a consultation and testing. Three doctors working on me the whole time. They leave the room, and then the primary doctor who had been working with came walking back in the room. My wife and I are sitting there, and he took off his glasses, put them on the table, and sat down, and I was like, Everything that I've done in my life up until this point has set me up to do what I'm doing now. My athletic career is pretty much done and um, that's frustrating for me. The joy of watching him on stage is, I can't even explain, and that's probably the biggest sorrow now is that, that he can't play the guitar and then he isn't in the band anymore, and that breaks my heart for him. He won't be able to reach out and hold my hand anymore. Stuff like that, that makes me sad. I think once we got the diagnosis, it, we'd already kind of grieved, and then we were like, okay, now what, let's do this, so. And I decided early on that research was important, and Augie's quest accepted me and they're like you're part of our family that welcoming spirit it energized me i decided then that augie's quest was going to be my research component that i was going to give my energy toward You can look at um, ALS as kind of a, an analogy of a ski slope. So you have a mountain, and there are, there's different terrain and different um, runs that someone can take to get to the bottom. He really believes, and I believe too, that not every patient who has ALS is the same, and so some medicines and treatments might better help others. The Precision Medicine Program can help us identify what the characteristics of each of those runs are. So these are motion trackers, and this is part of the ALS Therapy Development Institute, ALS TDI. One week a month, I get to wear these beautiful pieces of jewelry on my, on my ankles and my wrists. They're just looking for the progression that occurs with each strain of ALS that they've identified. ALS doesn't get paid much attention to in terms of finding a cure. I really feel like as time goes on and people raising awareness and raising money and donating to Augie's Quest, so we're going to find a cure. I think Augie's Quest has been the biggest blessing out of it all because he's in the hands of the right people. I mean, my biggest fear is how long, how many memories my daughter is going to have with him. It, is going to help find a cure or slow down the progression, which would be great since he has, he's a slow progressor. If they could find something, which I think they are right now, they're very close, then we can start that process and it will be even longer before he's in a wheelchair. Gives him a reason to keep going because he wants his granddaughter to know him when he's healthy. The thought of Leaving too soon, just, I'm not that guy. Wherever I can include and bring everybody to the table, that's what I try to do. In some small way, I can contribute to the end of ALS.